Well, we all uh, it's Bob from Greybeard Models, and there's quite a few of us up and down the country have been waiting for this little puppy. This is uh, the world famous Bond bug. Um, this is one of those cars from the 1960s that I think quite a few of us, 60s or 70s, really wanted. Can't buy them for love nor money now. But let's open the box and let's see what Airfix have done. They've uh, um, re-released this uh, as a vintage classic. It's been commanding big prices in the second-hand market for a long time. One thirty-second scale, usual box art. It's got the the colour there, the colour scheme. There was only pretty much one colour scheme, and it was orange. Um, so <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, and it's got cartograph um, decals on this this one. Um, I don't think the old ones did. Let's get the let's get the tape off and we'll have a look in the box. And typical airfix, one bag of parts, instruction manual and details. I'll get onto the green box uh, mat and then we'll have a better look at it I think. So just bear with me a second, I'll change mats. Right, put the, put the lid over there out of the way. Um, this is a skill level one kit oh nice very nice decals cartograph well can't argue with that can you typical airfix instructions and it's a reproduction of the old instructions that you used to get Back in the day, obviously they haven't re re graphicked or whatever it is, redrawn it. Um, yeah, in fact, this actually looks like it's slightly out of focus, but hey, you know, it's a straightforward, easy build. It was a really easy vehicle um, back in the day. Um, I've never actually driven a bomb bug, but I've driven a, a Reliant Robin. Uh, which was a three three wheeler like this. I mean, there's not a lot to say. Um, there's not that many parts. Straightforward construction of the chassis. Obviously, got to get that square. Put the rear axle in. Put the front suspension in. Complete the steering link. Assemble the engine, put that in, put the radiator in, put all the internals together. It's it's a fairly straightforward build. And the final bit to add is the wheels. Interesting that somebody somebody mentioned that I, I saw on on something the other day um, about why car kit instructions always seem to have the wheels on really early on as soon as you've assembled the the chassis and this one has the wheels on right at the end colour scheme orange um, obviously with Airfix they go with their own Humbro 18 gloss orange um, well yeah orange I don't actually know if I've got an, an orange like this this sort of colour I'll have to have a look look through my uh, through my paint. I think I might have an orange red. That might do it. So me fine paint. But anyway, that's that. Let's look at the parts. And as it's a vintage kit, it'll be based on an old sprue, I would think. There are 
interestingly this is not a this this has got the parts put into into a proper sprue you know a proper sort of modern sprue if you like um, there's that sprue it looks like the part has fallen out of there two body parts on one sprue let's get the clear out and then those body parts it's not an overly complicated kit as you can see that must be there and there's the driver body and driver's quite funky because he's got like a, a scarf very very 1960 70 something like that um i'm not sure when let me have a look at the instructions so according to this um it was a range of vehicles that only ever produced on relatively small numbers over a four year period um, and it was the last bomb bug left the factory in Tamworth in 1974 so yeah if you could get a real one it's worth a lot of money um, clear parts let's have a look at the clear parts the standard of moulding is really good. I don't know if they've retooled it or whether the actual tooling at the time was really good. But yeah, I mean it looks it looks really really nice, really nicely moulded. A little bit of distortion around the wheel arches. And according to this piece of tooling, uh, FX Products Limited, 1975. I mean the the moulding is pretty good actually I was expecting to sort of see an, like an old tool with with um, sort of flash and stuff like that but actually even the figure is not too bad I mean there's a bit of seamage but nothing nothing mad and uh, this particular sprue with the bit that's fallen off which is which is actually the tank um, yeah again this looks looks okay there's a little bit of distortion along there don't know what that is what or why that is but that might just need cleaning up little radiator the arms of the driver exhaust rear suspension units yeah is that yeah I mean even the even the diff and all around there looks pretty tidy I'm looking at these parts the wheels are actually molded solid so there's a seam around them but that that will clean up I would think and unfortunately there's a bit bit not quite right there but that looks like a bit of we oh no hold on a minute oh that's all right no seems like a tiny tiny bit of flash but uh yeah i mean all in all the parts are okay can't see any sink marks can't see any overall sort of any distortion or anything like that so that's pretty cool looking at the clear parts um well the windscreen 
looking straight through the windscreen there is a bit of distortion there and the rear window there's a bit of distortion there the windscreen though would have been at an angle when you looked through it so yeah there's a bit of distortion there there's distortion on the side here but these these were on these side windows these are the doors um but they had they were if my memory serves me well the the side windows were actually like a polythene they weren't glass or anything like that so there lenses for the lights all pretty cool i think it will go together as quite a neat little kit um yeah uh, airfix announced this morning that on their facebook page that actually this this has been the the highest demanded um pre-sale or highest pre-sale response of any kit they've ever had where they've announced it for pre-order and they're saying now that actually it's it's going out of out of stock because pretty much nearly everything that they've ordered has been sold so from airfix point of view that's an absolute result um so this will go into the stash and i will build it at some point but obviously i've got something else on the go at the moment that's going to take up quite a bit of time but anyway I hope you found that interesting. I think it's a funky little kit. I think it's really good. Um, I hope you found it interesting. And uh, go out there and buy one. I mean, it's a straightforward kit. If you're a, if you're new to the hobby, it's only a skill level one. Nothing too technical. And I think it's just it's a funky car. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.